with simple harmonic motion, uh, the type of motion that's used in a spring mass system and the air molecules, it has a few names. So like I said, you're familiar with simple harmonic motion. It can also be called sinusoidal motion. And its third name is uniform circular motion. So there are three different names to describe the movement of an air mass. Uniform circular motion occurs when a body moves around a circumference of a circle at a constant number of degrees of rotation per second. A circle has 360 degrees, 0 degrees, 90 degrees a quarter later, 180 degrees is halfway, 270 is 3 quarters, back to 0 or 360 degrees. So with uniform circular motion, a point moves around the circumference of the circle at a constant number of degrees rotation per second. The dot is engaging in simple harmonic motion. So remember, one full cycle of vibration is 360 degrees. One circle is 360 degrees. But so far, we've only spoken about the motion of a spring mass system being rectilinear or straight line, not circular but I can show you how they're the same thing. This picture is a bit tricky to understand, but if you look carefully at it, you see there's a man on a Ferris wheel and he's holding a flashlight. The Ferris wheel is going around and around, vertically up and down, and he's facing a wall. If that wall were to move in direction and the man continued to rotate on the Ferris wheel, what you would end up getting is this picture that looks like a waveform. It's again another projection of simple harmonic motion, sinusoidal motion, or uniform circular motion. So let's look at the figure to the right. Zero degrees is the starting point. The circle rotates, or the point on the circle rotates to 90 degrees. We have the top of the waveform, maximum displacement. The dot continues to rotate to 180 degrees, and it's back at equilibrium on the waveform. The cycle continues to 270. We reach maximum displacement in the negative direction. And finally, the dot returns to zero degrees, or 360 degrees, and we've completed one full cycle of vibration. So as you can see, uniform circular motion is the same as this simple harmonic motion represented by a waveform. So we have equilibrium to maximum displacement in one direction, back to equilibrium to maximum displacement in the negative direction, and finally a return to equilibrium, 360 degrees. In this example, the wheel rotated with a frequency of one rotation per second. The period of rotation, or the time required to complete one cycle of rotation, is therefore one second. Because if you remember our formula for period, it equals one over the frequency. And if the frequency is one, one over one equals one. One second for a full cycle of vibration in this picture a quarter a cycle is therefore a quarter a second, and half a cycle is half a second.